It's fly day and here at HM it means we're back on the vice. So this weekend, take my interceptors for a walk. If you ever fish clear waters and stalking to me is just phenomenal. I mean, I suppose in this country, can we call it stalking? I'm not sure because to me, stalking conjures up wandering a wild river in New Zealand, stalking wild brownies and rainbows. So let's call it targeting. And targeting stockfish is, is still as exciting. Your heart is in your mouth when you're trying to get that cast out in front. Well, what I've done in this selection is given you a full range of different color stalking bugs. So they're there to intercept the fish. They're very heavy, so they haven't got a lot of material in them. A little bit of marabou in that in the tail, so it gives a little bit of movement. And then, not a lot in the body because it's all covered in varnish. And they're designed to intercept the fish as they're cruising around. If you have patterns that are too light, then what happens is that they don't achieve the right depth by the time the fish are cruising around. So this is the white one. We just have a little bit of flash in the tail. We'll put a little bit this side. And then put a little bit in that side. The important thing with these, when you're fishing these, is to be accurate with where you put in the fish or the flies in front of the cruising fish. You've got to concentrate because far too often I see people, they cast too far. If you cast too far, what happens is, well, you're going to line the fish. You cast too short, it's th these fish, because on a lot of these crystal clear waters, there's so much food in there for the fish that they don't move away from their cruising route. They just stay there. Um, they just continue going along the same route. And you have to intercept right in front of their nose. You're virtually putting the fly in their mouth. So. Some people tie this with a, with black silk underneath. I prefer to tie them with this. But you'll see why in a minute. We've got UTC wire, and that is chartreuse. So it's chartreuse and white. And I'm trying to build up the back so we get a little bit of a cone effect going up. It takes a little bit of time. If you want to make them a little bit heavier, you can put tungsten bead on the front. But once this is all varnished up, there'll be hardly any resistance whatsoever. What we're going to do with the UTC wire, we're just going to take it in touching turns all the way up. So you have to build up the silk to make the cone effect, as opposed to doing that with a wire. Nearly there. And when you're fishing these, that's why I put a load of different colours in the selection. When you're fishing them, if you get it in the right place, it's in front of the fish's mouth and it doesn't look at it, then change colour. Try again. Make sure you've got it in the right place, doesn't look at it, change colour, change colour, change colour. Keep changing colours until you get that reaction and it will take the flight I promise you some days they like it dead drifting and that's what a lot of people don't do is allow the fly to actually sink without any resistance so you mustn't retrieve be careful as well on what breaking strain of fluorocarbon you use because if you use 
too thick a fluorocarbon, it affects the way that this fly sinks. So you want it to go down with hardly any resistance whatsoever. The reason I said, now you'll notice by ribbing this up, sorry, touching turns this up, if you miss a little bit, then it doesn't matter because you've got the same color silk underneath. And then you're gonna cover this. Either bug bond, if you're doing bug bond, use the original, that's the thicker one. If you're using the light, do a couple. If you're using varnish, Sally Hansen, then I'm talking about three or four turns of Sally Hansen in the end of it, right now then. Just that one right up there. Just tie that off. And we'll just put a little collar just behind. And then, to finish this off, as I said, cover it in varnish or bug bond. But before you cover the bead, paint an eye on either side. So you've got an added trigger point. Trim, twinkle off in the tail, make it slightly different length. And then just to finish off, we'll do a big tail on that. So have a look at the selection. It is the interceptor selection, all different colors. And when you're stalking fish, just remember, change those colors until you get a reaction. And I guarantee you'll hook one of the monsters in the lake. Creepy, creepy, crawly, crawly, intercept some fish this weekend. What? What's wrong with that? Do you realise how hard this is? All you sat at home just watching this thing, oh, this is not easy. Oh.